Next one. Seventh question. And then Parayan and another biodiversity hotspots. You know about biodiversity hotspots. The concept of biodiversity hotspot was developed to prioritize uh, Dana, conservation efforts in the region with high biodiversity. Is there anything wrong in this statement? Nothing. Biodiversity hotspots are primarily located in Arctic and polar regions. Oh, no. It should be primarily located in tropical and subtropical regions, right? Okay, Anne. Badana, wrong. The answer is C. First statement, okay, no? Tropical Andes is one of the recognized biodiversity hotspots in the world. And then you'll press one of the biodiversity hotspots. All these kind of wordings is very important for UPSC. It's one of the hotspots. These tend to be right all most of the times. If one of tends to be right. It cannot be always right, but in most of the cases, it tends to be right. Okay, next one. What is the primary function of wetlands in an ecosystem? What is it? Groundwater recharge. All these are functions of wetlands. But the question asks specifically about the primary function of wetlands. So what is the primary function of wetland? Should be water recharge, right? Okay, no? Okay, Okay, no? Okay, next one. In the other trick, ninth question to qualify as a biodiversity hotspot, a region must have at least 15,000 vascular plants as endemics. Next one, a region must have 30% of less or less of its original natural vegetation to qualify as a biodiversity hotspot. Now, the, the statement is correct. Both the statements you have data here. In both of the statements, you will have data. So, you will have to assume at least one of the data should be wrong. Right. When, I, when, I, when, I, when you get a question of two statements and if all the statements of so both of the statements are having data, you will have to assume one of the statements might be wrong here. So what can be wrong here? Most of the time the bigger data will be wrong. Here it's not 15,000 but it's 1,500. Large numbers are mostly they will make it wrong. So biodiversity hotspot as a concept was brought by Norman Myers. Then this concept was taken by the IUCN. Our in the biodiversity hotspot recognize him. This hotspot is characterized and recognize in and on a random criteria. It should have at least 1500 endemic plants or at least 70 percentage or more of the vegetation should be lost in that area. And the original vegetation 30 percentage or less the matra ippad avade ullu. 70 percentage of more is lost. These are the criteria we are recognizing biodiversity hotspots. We are having 36 biodiversity hotspots here. How many biodiversity hotspots are there in India? Here again. Western Ghats, Himalayas. Where is the Sunda land. Pinna. Indo-Burma. Indo-Burma is Assam. Indo-Burma is Andaman. Or Orpano. Orpano. Indo-Burma covers the whole northeast except Assam and Andaman. That is the two. If you want to note extra, it won't be there in your answer key. We have four biodiversity hotspots here. Himalayas from the northwest to the northeast, then Sundaland, then Western Ghats, then Indo Burma. Sundaland is Andaman Islands. Sundaland is Andaman Islands. Sundaland covers only Nicoba group of islands. Sundaland is Andaman. Illa. Sundaman, Sundaran covers only Nicoba group of islands. If it is a UPC can make the statements for you. Okay, so this is not Then they might give another uh, data regarding this biodiversity hotspot. Almost 50% of this plant species can be found in 
these biodiversity regions, these biodiversity hotspots, almost 50 percentage of the plant species. Okay, when I've when I've taught you this biodiversity hotspot, I have asked you to look what are hop spots. Have you looked into it? Hop spots. Are you know it or not? What are hop spots? What are hop spots? Hop spots are certain oceanic areas which requires or merit special protection. Our then they loss some biodiversity loss some concerns again. So these areas require special protection. India gave them hop spots on them. There are two hop spots. One is Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Then one is Lakshadweep. The random hop spots are there. All all together, I think there are seventy six hop spots all together. Hop spots, H O P E, hop spots. Okay. Then next one. It's okay, Which of the following are methods of carbon capture? These type of questions you will have to make it correct. Actually, these type of questions, namuk kannu booti, namuk vannagil, all the above pandu vara kodukka arano. But even now, if I am writing or I am giving this paper, I will mark, mark it as option D. I won't see anything else. I will mark it as option D. Wherever we are, we are asking or the question is asked about new technologies or positive technologies, most of the scenario, in most of the cases, all the statements will be wrong, will be correct. Negative anangil a statement le kodte ke nandeli negative sentence anangi it will be wrong. So when you see a positive techno or technology when when the question is asked about a technology and you have been given three statements, two of the statements talk about positives about this technology and one statement talks about the negative of the technology. In most of the cases, this third statement might be wrong. The first two statements will be correct. So, a positive technology we have to show you, if you analyze the pattern, this is 100% work out, I don't know what to But when you analyze these type of questions, we have to show you a trend. So, whenever we have a positive technology, we have to show you a positive side statement, it tends to be correct in most of these cases. Okay. The answer is D for the tense question. Carbon capture and then on. For the climate change, we will have to reduce this for the uh, global warming because of the global warming. If you want to reduce this global warming, we will have to reduce this carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, right? For that, we will have, we have many technologies and three such technologies are given here. Direct air capture, it, it will be direct capture from these chimneys and all, they will capture this carbon dioxide directly. In, uh, in carbon mineralization, it, it actually is one other method where it, it's, it's the carbon dioxide, it's converted into some other suitable forms in the form of uh, maybe carbonates. Then it will be stored in underground places or deep seabed or all these areas it will be stored. It's another type of technology where we can capture carbon dioxide. In mineralization, we are, we are actually dispersing minerals in the sea. It's, it's, it's one of the technologies that takes place in the oceans. We are actually crushing these minerals and we are dispersing it in, in the sea which in turn will absorb this carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So both three of these technologies are used for the cap carbon capture. Okay or no? Okay le? Okay, next one. Further question? Oof. This is great Indian bestard. Great Indian bestard. This critically endangered bird species is highly adapted to arid and semi-arid grasslands. It's correct. It nests in the open ground laying only one clutch per year. And that answer is Both statements are correct. Critically endangered species, one of the most important species is Great Indian Bustard. Where we can see this species? Rajasthan is the desert line, their conservation breeding program. Where is the desert line, the breeding program? Where is Desert National Park? 
where is desert national park rajasthan ee desert national park in idinath or breeding program nadakkunnundu evadiya great indian bustard inde or breeding program desert national park il nadakkunnundu great indian bustard endha ithra prashna idinde main kaaranam nammal electric lines they jail they will just hit on these electric lines and they will be electrocuted idinde prashna nu parna idinu or straight vision valare koravana ഇതിൻ്റെ വിഷൻ എപ്പോഴും സൈഡ് വൈസ് ആണ് ഇത് പറന്നു പോകുമ്പം ഇതിന് സ്ട്രെയിറ്റ് വിഷൻ വളരെ കുറവായതും ഇതിൻ്റെ സൈഡ് വൈസ് വിഷൻ കൂടുതലായതുകൊണ്ട് ഇതിന് സ്ട്രെയിറ്റിൽ വരുന്ന ചിലപ്പം കാണാൻ പറ്റില്ല സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഹിറ്റ് ഓൺ ടു ദീസ് ഇലക്ട്രിക് ലൈൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഡൈ ഇതാണ് മിക്കപ്പോഴും സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ആണേ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ബെസ്റ്റാർഡ്സിനെ കുറിച്ച് പഠിച്ചോണം ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ desert national park i'm saying all these things to write it down okay you have to write it down desert national desert national park it's one of the unesco world heritage sites next question do we have to discuss this question wetland what is the answer namaku most important questions maatram namaku nokkiya madi what is the answer for this one both the correct and second statement is the explanation for the first statement right do we have to discuss this no okay ane okay le are kelly prashna undo adha ellam kodi discuss cheyadal 3 4 mani vare avadi irikkam angane irikkan thayar anengil i'll discuss each and everything vidi irikkan pattu ellarkum appo enna cheyan pattu so uh, now we are seeing the 13th question 13th question nammal padichada is there any difficulty in this question edi question is incorrect climax communities are stable and unchanging remaining the same indefinitely edengil or community indefinite aayittu nila nilkuvo endengil sambhavichu illandai pinneyum secondary succession lude pinneyum avada ecological succession sambhavichu ude can again start from the scratch right isn't it wrong then one of the easiest questions here who all made it wrong here aarakke tettichu idenda tettikan karana ningalku koyappilla baaki ullu who all made it wrong endu vetti easy question alle okay 14th one ചിലതിൻ്റെ ഒക്കെ പടം എന്തെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ട് അത് ഞാൻ കാണിച്ചു തരാം ഫോർട്ടീൻ വൺ സിമ്പിൾ വൺ എക്കോ സിസ്റ്റം ഡൈവേഴ്സിറ്റി ഇസ് എ കമ്പോണൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ബയോഡൈവേഴ്സി ദാറ്റ് ഫോക്കസ് ഓൺ ദി വെറൈറ്റി ഓഫ് എക്കോ സിസ്റ്റം വിത്ത് ഇൻ എ റീജൻ ഇസ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് കറക്റ്റ് ദെൻ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ എൻഡമിസം യൂസ് ടു ഇസ് യൂസ് ടു ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ് ദി സ്പീഷീസ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ ഫൗണ്ട് ഓൺലി ഇൻ എ സ്പെസിഫിക് റീജൻ ആൻഡ് നോ വെർ എൽസ് ഇൻ ദി വേൾഡ് കറക്റ്റ് നീൽഗിരി ടാർ എവിടെയുള്ളതാണ് വെസ്റ്റേൺ കെട്ടിൽ കാണപ്പെടുന്നതാണ് നീൽഗിരി ടാർ ഇറ്റ്സ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി എൻഡമിക് സ്പീഷീസ് So, endemic species are those species which can be found only in a specific region. Okay, and biodiversity is the highest in tropical rainforest and decreases towards the polar region. Simple statement. Correct, right? Okay, invasive species can contribute positive, positively to the biodiversity by increasing the variety of species in an ecosystem. If you have to do this, here they have put can. there is always a possibility cuz when we are adding a new species to the ecosystem it actually leads to the increase in the species richness right oru pudhiya species nammal kondu vare thanne aanu cheyyunnathu it can have positive impact it can have negative impacts but what mostly it is having negative impacts but it can lead to uh, what increase in the biodiversity right ibada endengil extreme aayittu endengil koduthittundo it can it can species richness endana it is the total number of species in an ecosystem alle invasive species in add aanba endha cheyyunna species richness kooduvano eh aano alle so it can there is ibada extreme aayittu onnum koduthittilla examiner aarakke idu ellarum tetta aayittu alle eduthekkane 
very good kodappilla idu cheythu cheythe ningalku practice cheyidittu idakke ningalku manasilavathullu okay aa question correct aanu but it often comes with the expense of the native species native species adu illa undaakam but initially it rises the biodiversity right alle okay next one which of the following statements is not correct ningalku easy aayidu ningalku onnu varadillen kodappilla you will be knowing this second statement coral bleaching invariably leads to the death of a invariably is the extreme word here doesn't cause the death of corals coral bleaching undavu it doesn't mean it is killing the corals it can actually replenish ee susanthale bacteria ki pinneyum corals ne vanna attach cheyittu pinneyum corals inde or replenishing undavu avade but it doesn't lead to invariably lead to the death of corals so it's an extreme statement here nammal kaiya micro test lethal padich kandilayirunno lethal doses of carbon monoxide uh, copper smelting plants in the extreme word was lethal there so you will have to see the statements word by word you will have to mark all those extreme statements in most of the cases it will be wrong ivide എന്താണ് റോങ് ആയത് ഇൻവേരിയബിളി ലീഡ്സ് ടു അങ്ങനെ കോറൽ ബ്ലീച്ചിങ് വഴി എല്ലാവരും ചത്തുപോയ പിന്നെ ഇവിടെ കോറൽസ് എന്തെങ്കിലും കാണും ഇവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ കോറൽ ബ്ലീച്ചിങ് എന്നാണ് കേൾക്കുന്നത് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ഹിയറിംഗ് കോളർ കോറൽ ഡെത്ത് കോറൽ ബ്ലീച്ചിങ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ സൂസാന്തലെ അവിടെ ഇല്ലാണ്ടായി അതിനൊരു വൈറ്റ് കളർ വരുവാണ് അതിൻ്റെ കളറൊക്കെ നഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്നു ഒരു പോലെ അതിൻ്റെ കളർ ഇല്ലാണ്ടാവുന്നു ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി റീസ്റ്റോർഡ് ഓക്കെ പെട്ടെന്ന് പെട്ടെന്ന് ഇനി പോകണ സമയമില്ല ഓക്കെ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ എന്തെങ്കിലും പറയാനുണ്ടോ ഈസി അല്ലേ എന്താ ആൻസർ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ആൻസർ ഫോർ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻസർ എ അല്ലേ എല്ലാവരും കറക്റ്റ് ആക്കിയല്ലോ ഓക്കെ 